What's going on guys? So we moved the RV up, got a big construction project going on over here. If you watch my other channel, BTB RV Life, you'll probably know what's going on. Had to move the RV up about 30 feet so we could make room for the next plan here that's uh, gonna take place. And uh, yeah, everything's working well, just leveling out the RV real quick. I'm gonna show you guys some products that I received a while back and uh, just never got around to filming, mainly because they kind of got buried and I was recently able to uncover them when I was actually looking for an extension cable that I keep in the basement storage. But this is gonna be a cool video and it's on some low cost accessories for your RV that you might really like. Hang tight, I'll be right back. You know, something I've had for a while that I've never shown you guys is this really cool collapsible table that we actually haven't used yet. It's funny because I thought I had misplaced this and then I found it in the storage kind of buried under a bunch of stuff. So you guys might actually find yourself in the same situation sometimes where you have something, you know you have something, but you've buried it and it's pretty much like not having something. Anyways, this is a cool little table that the folks over at E-Trailer sent me. Uh, they also sent me some really cool floor mats. And, you know, a lot of times people think of E-Trailer, they think of trailer supplies, they think of lights and sewer connections and air conditioning units and, you know, all sorts of replacement parts for trailers and RVs as well as interior stuff. But you may not know that they also carry accessories like this, like little tables, like little step stools, rugs and things that can go inside of your RV that are designed to be inside of an RV. And what do I mean by that? Well, they're usually a little easier to clean out a little bit more durable a little lighter weight and just designed for an rv lifestyle where you're going to constantly be tracking in and out through it you need to be able to clean it off set it outside that kind of thing so i'm going to put this table together really quickly it goes together in a very very cool fashion go ahead and set it up right here so you can see what this thing's all about okay so once you pull it out of its little bag that it comes in which is right here kind of like the same type of bag that those folding chairs come in the kind that you uh, you just stow inside of your compartment in case you ever need those too. But it includes the tabletop as well as this nifty little stand right here. And then the stand just kind of expands outwards like that. I'm doing it with one hand because you know me, that's my style. And then this flips up and locks into place right here like that. And then there's another one right here which flips over and locks into place right here. Very cool. Now the tabletop just snaps into place in these little grooves right here. So you're gonna put one side right there, the other side right here. If you wanna talk about ease of setup, keep in mind I am doing this all with one hand. And then this one's gonna lock into place right here. go and then this one right here pretty cool huh so that's your little table and it's actually pretty dang sturdy I mean check that out it's pretty low to the ground so it only comes off the ground probably about 20 inches so it's not a very tall tabletop it's more or less something you're probably going to use you know in between a couple of chairs but you can definitely put some stuff on it let me demonstrate so first thing I'm going to throw on here is this little Martin portable gas stove. This was actually a gift that was given to me uh, for Christmas a while back. I found it in the garage because it was buried under stuff, and I decided to throw it in the RV just in case we want to do some cooking away from the RV. I'll set that on it. You guys know how much these rubber blocks weigh. Set a couple of those. Actually, I have five of them, so let's set all five of them on it. I have... A little Stanley 600 watt or 600 amp charger right there, or battery jumper. Oh, this is a cool one. This is a DeWalt toolbox with power tools, a couple batteries in it, and a charger, so it's not empty. I'd say that's probably more weight than most people would put on something like this, or more weight than most people would assume something like this could hold. But it's holding it just fine, and you could easily put some more weight on top of that. So, yeah, this thing works pretty well. I'd probably venture to say this is around 30 pounds worth of stuff on it. 
and it is very sturdy. So if you're looking for a very, very convenient little fold-up table that takes a very, very little room when it's completely packed up and stowed, this might be what you've been looking for. I'm gonna take all this stuff off, fold it back up, throw it back in the bag, and just show you how small of a footprint the bag takes up. So I'm not even kidding you, this thing takes about 30 seconds to completely stow and then once you throw it in the bag, add another 10, 15 seconds to that. So in less than a minute, you can have a table set up or put away without any cumbersome problems or any type of assembly really needed. Now, this is what the table looks like completely stowed. This is what a folding chair looks like, not in its bag. But I just wanted to show you kind of a perspective of the size difference between the two. And this one actually can kind of compress much thinner than this, because once this is in its fully compacted position, it's still a couple inches larger in diameter. But check that thing out, super cool. E-Trailer sells this, very, very inexpensive product, definitely one you might wanna pack with you inside of your vehicle, inside of your RV, inside of your home. You know, this is great for maybe a couple kiddos if they're coming over and they're gonna eat outside, you need extra space and you don't wanna take up a lot of space whenever the table's put away. But you could clearly tell it holds a good amount of weight, which means it'll easily be able to hold plates, things like that, that you might wanna throw on it. Very, very cool vinyl material, very easy to clean. Um, actually, they say it's a durable polyester fabric. Holds up to 30 pounds, and I think I put just about 30 pounds on it. Yeah, very, very cool. Anyways, we're going to throw this in the RV, and then I'm going to show you the rugs that each trailer also sells. Okay. Stepping inside of the RV, here are the rugs. Let me turn on a hallway light here so you can see them a little better. And these are really nice. They have a nice rug material to the top of it. You can definitely tell how they can probably clean your shoes off pretty well. Nice rubber bottom to them as well, so they, they don't slide around very easily. So if you're going to be walking on them, you don't have to worry about slipping. And I think that's one of the issues a lot of folks have with RVing is, you know, your outside is only a couple feet away from your inside. And the challenge you may run into is when you come inside, your shoes are wet. Sometimes the other rugs that are here slip around really easily. And if you try to do that to this one, doesn't move very easy. So that's really cool. This was a kit. It came with two of these, I believe. Got a little dirty right there, but you can see how it cleans your shoes off. And then it came with one of these. This one right here is about six feet long. And this one right here, if you're looking at length from this perspective, it's probably about 20 inches long, but very, very nice. And uh, they come in a really, really convenient rolled up kit. So they're easy to put in your RV and they're designed for that. They're designed for RV living. So easy to clean up, easy to uh, put in place. They fit kind of tight areas that you typically would see in your RV. And the folks already trailer carry this stuff. So definitely uh, check them out if this is something that you may be interested in. I'll put links in the description of this video. And these are low cost items. You know, I know that when it comes to towing, when it comes to hitches, things like that, you guys typically see, you know, that kind of stuff on the channel, but that stuff can get really, really expensive. This is the kind of stuff that's low cost. You can get it as a gift. You can easily afford it. You can budget for it. They make your RV look nicer. They're usable, they're functional, they're practical and affordable. And I think all of that really matters to a lot of folks who are looking to try to find ways to make their RV a little bit more them, a little bit more comfortable. And this is just one way you can do it. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this little segment on uh, showing you a couple things that eTrailer provided me. The uh, prep for the new building's coming along. It's going to take some time before we get there, but ultimately, uh, definitely excited that this time is finally coming and we're going to be able to have a nice place to store the RV whenever the weather's inclement outside or whenever we need to do projects. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.